As you wind your way to Casanare, it quickly becomes evident just how remote the small town in Puerto Rico's interior really is. Still without power seven weeks after Hurricane Maria, the town's hospital serves as a center point for the community. It's the main source of employment. It's the only uh, setting where we are giving health services. We're a community-based health center that we have our, our patients are part of the board of directors. We have a hospital emergency room here. We have a well here and we give water to the community as much as they need. After running for more than 1,300 consecutive hours, the hospital's only working generator started to fail. The situation that could force the hospital to shut down and possibly cause a public health crisis. We are focusing on uh, educating people on how they, were going, they are going to use the water since there have been cases of leptospirosis, gastroenteritis, that are sicknesses that are associated with clean water. So that has been one of our main focus. So having this place non-operational could, could be devastating to the community. That's when FEMA called in the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to keep the hospital up and running by installing a 250 kilowatt generator, the 500th generator USACE has installed on the island, setting a new benchmark. It's a milestone for the Corps. Previously, we'd only installed 310 generators in Hurricane Katrina in both between Louisiana and Mississippi. So this is a, a landmark event for us. Let's put in perspective of Hurricane Sandy. So Hurricane Sandy, we installed roughly about 100, 106 generators. So to this day, we install about 100 plus generators every week. So we are doing a Hurricane Sandy mission every single week here in Puerto Rico. So that's the magnitude of what we're doing here. USACE's temporary power mission provides generators for public critical facilities, such as hospitals and water treatment plants, providing power until they're able to get back on the electrical grid. So a lot of our generators have been installed at uh, hospitals to ensure that there's sustained power at these locations. It's very important that we are providing stuff like this because like, people can't function their day-to-day -day functions, and that's how important that the temporary power mission that we do day in and day out to provide all these critical pieces to the people of Puerto Rico to get them back up, running, strong. FEMA and USACE officials estimate that more than 1,000 generators will have to be installed all across the island before the temporary power mission comes to a close. Mike Clash, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Puerto Rico.